says, rank the following fatty acids from highest melting point to lowest melting point. Which of the following statements are true? Okay. So let's see, number eight here. So I have, I want to rank them from highest to lowest melting point. To lowest MP. And then I have these compounds here. So I have uh, CH3, CH27, CH2, 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 2, 7, COOH. I have CH3, CH2, 10, COOH. And then basically all of these guys here. Okay, so how do I how do I figure out the, the, the highest melting point and lowest melting point? We'll have to look at the intermolecular forces, right? In this case here, they're all carboxylic acids because they're all fatty acids, which is good. But some of them have double bonds and some of them don't have double bonds. So for example, uh, this guy here is a long chain alkane. This one here is also alkane here, but they don't have a double bond here as well. So in this case, they would have, um, it's you can think of it as, as a saturated, it's a saturated kind of fatty acid, and these double bonds here are a non-saturated acids here. So in this case, um, melting points as follows, and they actually give us our, they give us actually our, um, are the the uh, the numbers here, but I, I, again, I don't know the numbers, right? And again, the melting point, the highest guy here is CH three CH two fourteen, which is correct, right? Because this here is stating that um, alkanes again have a higher melting point than alkenes do. So I'm saying that CH three CH two fourteen COH is going to be the highest melting point because it's a straight chain alkane. Next is going to be our a second longest straight chain alkane, which is CH3, CH2, 10, COOH. And then it's going, I'm going to compare the alkenes together and it depends on the size of the alkene. In this case, I have, um, this here is a seven and this is a seven, a four and a four. So this is going to be the next guy here. So CH3, CH2, seven, it will be the uh, third highest. So like so, CH3, CH2, seven, so that's what this is. And then finally, it's the last guy here. So this, uh, so they they ranked it correctly here, which is good. So let me write down CH3, CH27, CH double bond, CH, CH2, 7, COH. And the reason why I, again, the reason why this is the highest MP is this here is a straight chain. This part, they're all carboxylic acids, so we don't have to worry about that part. But this here is our, longest alkane chain this here is the second longest second longest and this here is our longest alkene and therefore the other um the other structure here is going to be the, the last um the last guy here which is ch3 ch24 ch double bond CH, CH2, 4, CH2, 2, COH, whatever. So this here is the shortest alkene chain. Shortest alkene. So basically, when we talk about highest and lowest MP, we're talking about the intermolecular forces. When we, when we have intermolecular forces, well, we have hydrogen bonding because of the carboxylic acids. We also have uh, dipole-dipole because of the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen. But in this case here, we care about the London dispersion forces because they are such big molecules, right? So we care about the longest alkane and then the shortest alkene. And that's how we're gonna rank these guys from highest to lowest melting points. And again, it says which of the following four statements are true. So we're saying a saturated fatty acid with a greater molecular weight has a higher melting point than a saturated fatty acid with a lower molecular weight. So this guy is true because the higher the molecular weight, the higher the melting point, the stronger the London, London, the stronger the London dispersion forces. So number one, A is correct, A is correct here. B says a saturated fatty acid with a greater melting point has a lower melting point. This here is false because it has a higher melting point than a saturated fatty acid with a lower melt, uh, molecular weight. And then C here says a, fatty, a saturated fatty acid has a higher melting point than an unsaturated. It was true because alkanes are higher melting point than alkenes, and which means which makes D false, right? So saturated fatty acid has a lower melting point. This here is false because it's higher in melting point. So A and C are true. Um, let's see. So it says unsaturated have lower melting points. That's true because of the molecular geometries. Again, tetrahedral bond angles uh, for saturated fatty acids is relatively linear. Um, so they're stacked together, which is good. 
Um, and again, with double bonds, there are actually kinks in the hydrocarbons, so they don't stack as well. So their interblockment forces are indeed weaker. So this solution here is correct. Solution is correct. Good analysis. Um, I'm going to say here that uh, statement one and three are true, and the statements two and four are false. And the reason why is that uh, we can say saturated fatty acids have a higher melting point than unsaturated fatty acids because saturated fatty acids alkanes can stack top of each other easily making London dispersion forces therefore its dispersion forces or actually tends out which which makes it which makes it harder to break up to break up and then we can say saturated fatty acids with a higher molecular weight have a higher MP than saturated fatty acids with a lower MP because they have higher London dispersion forces, which makes harder to break up. So the solution here is correct. Good analysis. Thanks.